His war was called a world war. And since then, a lot more soldiers coming back home to heal. These men are war heroes. Lost in the fog. And that was a scene from the film Oil Dale, which premieres at the Fox Theater tonight. Right now, I'm joined with one of the cast members and artists featured in the film, Grant Malloy Smith. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Great to be here in Bakersfield again. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Um, for our viewers at home, tell us a little bit about this movie and what people can expect if they go see it. Well, I mean, it's set right here, Bakersfield, Oil Dale. It's a great heartwarming story about some young people from here. Mm -hmm. Then they uh, kind of adopt these veterans, or maybe it's the other way around. And there's a lot of music involved in the movie. The scenes I'm in are at the Fox Theater downtown. And it's just, it's really a great story. It's one of those makes you feel really good stories. And you're an artist yeah. yourself, yeah. Uh, a singer, a songwriter. How is your music incorporated in this movie? Well, there's a big contest that runs through the movie, like a music singing and songwriting contest. And one of my songs is being uh, played. And I'm actually on the stage playing it I don't sing it though, even though it's my song. In the, in the movie, in the plot of the movie, it, it had, had to be a young lady sing it, so. And how was that seeing someone else sing your song? Pardon? How was it seeing someone else sing your song? That was kind of cool, actually. I liked it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this, this movie deals with veteran issues. Yeah. What kind of issues are um, brought up in the movie? And you also do a lot of work with veterans yeah. and uh, have a, a song that talks about wounded warriors. Talk a little bit about That's that. That's right. Yeah, I wrote a song, um, called Man of Steel. It's after I met a young man that had an artificial leg and uh, it became the theme song of the National Veterans uh, Organization, National Veterans Foundation actually. And so this movie brings all that topic in there. When, when veterans come back here, they're injured. Sometimes it's obvious that they're injured because it's physical. Other times it's, you know, they have a lot of trauma from what they experience over there. Even if they don't get physically injured, there's mental and there's, So you have to readjust. You can't just go back to your life exactly the way it was after something like that. So you have to find a way to restart your life. And th those themes are running throughout this whole movie. Mm -hmm. And you are from Rhode Island, but you do a lot of work in Nashville. What was it like being here in Bakersfield with so many country icons being yeah. from here? Well, it's like kind of like going to church for me to be where Buck Owens and Merle Haggard and all the people, great people like that. And I was lucky enough to get to go to uh, Buck's old studio um, uptown there. And boy, that was that was cool to sit in a chair next to a, you know, in front of a mixing board that, that he sat at all those years ago making the classic songs like that. So that's an honor for people like me. Yeah, and we have one more clip that we want to show you from the movie that features all of those staples here in Bakersfield. Check it out. What's your name? Larry Atkins, private, first class. Thursday is amateur night. We're looking to find the next Bakersfield singing star. We got we Do you think I can sing? Yes, you can. Just don't give up. And the script is great. And for more details on if you are looking to see the premiere at the Fox Theater tonight, we can pull up some information on your screen on how to purchase tickets. There we go. The film starts at 7 p.m. Proceeds benefit the Wounded Warriors Fund and the Fox Theater Foundation. So for more details, you can call the Fox box office or you can visit our website, turn to 23.com. And uh, thank you so much for joining me oh, and my pleasure. giving thank our you. viewers at home a little uh, a little tease of yeah. what they can expect if they see this movie. And I feel like for our viewers at home who are from here, who love Bakersfield, yeah. this is a great representation yeah. of our city. You you gotta see it. Yeah. It'll do you proud. <laughs> Thank you.